heading over to uh, Rugged Woods, which is in Yorkshire. I know the gods. Uh, there are a few suggestions of what may be going on, one of which may be a challenge. Um, don't know what that challenge is. And uh, we'll just have to see. So uh, stay tuned. So I've just arrived at uh, Rugged Woods. Um, Craig's here and his wife Tracy, uh, so I'll introduce you to them in a moment. I'm waving around the spoon from uh, the Roach Abbey video with Ian. Um, a bit of progress, so um, it is a spoon now. Right, I had to re seam seal the trail star, so whilst I'm here, I've put that up and applied uh, the correct seam sealer to it. The seam sealer I'd used previously um, wasn't right. This is sil nylon, so you have to buy a sil nylon sealer. Didn't know that, that's another one from Nigel. So Lisa kindly stripped the other sealer off and I've just reapplied the correct sealer. So that's going to be drying and let's go in there and, uh, and see what's happening today. Confession time. Uh, I got here at about half past ten and it's now three o'clock. I haven't stopped, but I've actually done nothing. Well, I've done a bit on my spoon. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, Craig. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm happy with where the spoon is at the moment, so I'm not going to work any more on that. I apologise for not showing you what I was doing, but it's just whittling wood. More whittling wood, uh, Craig uh, wants me to make a kukska. That's how you pronounce it, isn't it? Kukska. Kukska. K-U-K-S-A. Kukska. Right. A cup out of wood. So I've got this piece kindly provided. What I'm thinking of doing is sharpening some uh, twigs up and driving it down because at the minute it moves, it's not very sturdy. So I'll put it in a position, I'll drive these stakes across it to pin it to the deck. Uh, with the, um, the drill that uh, Craig has got on site, if I've got a drill I'm going to use it, if I've got a milling machine I'm going to use it, if I've got nothing I've got to make do with what I've got, nothing. So the drill that he drills these holes in with, I'm going to pilot a hole in there and then I'll be able to chisel to make a, uh, a, a bowl sort of shape in the wood as it is now and then I can start to uh, work all this excessive material away should we be successful enough to get that bit completed and um, you see the, the grain line uh, that's running through the tree so when I decide how long the uh, handle wants to be I'm going to use the saw and come down across the grain and then basically chisel that lot away so I'm protecting the work that I've done here I mean I wouldn't you know use a stop cut that long I'd probably go in this far get rid of that little piece instead of risking the whole lot so um, twigs sharpen twigs pin it to the deck and we'll bring you back Safety conscious laid law. Now, he's not a bright lad. Now has thought, well why don't you get your saw and you know just cut them off, make it a bit nicer instead of I mean I haven't cut myself, but it was only a matter of time. So I'm just gonna neaten it up. It's little silly things like that that are just gonna make it so much easier to work on. Um I've been at this what 20 minutes? About that, yeah. That's a that's a cup. It's a cup in half a half a tree trunk, but if you needed to hold food, you needed to hold drink, that's it. I've used a drill, because I've got a drill, as I said before. Um this I didn't make. Craig made that. Um the development of it, because it is a bit you know, you, I mean, me rippling by, you know, I'm like John claude Van Damme underneath this shirt. <laughs> so, the idea is that he's going, to, he's going to be sawn off at that point, and then that's just going to be the mallet head there. Um, but it works. You know, I wanted to make a Kuska. Kuska. Kuksa. Kuksa. Ugh, rubbish. I'm probably going to put a panel in after this that says it, you know, write it down. Um... 
this is how far this is how far I am with it. Um, how much deeper I'm going to go? Don't know. To get the excessive amount of wood off, we just just saw down. That's going to be a sweaty job. And then, yeah, with your axe, that that'll just fall off. It'll batten away. And then, with the axe, we're just going to trim that away as well. And then on to my new addiction, which is whittling. But where I went round earlier and put those uh, chisel marks in, as I was using the drill, you could see the great chunks of the, the like the, the top surface of the wood ripping away, but being stopped by those stop cuts. So it works well. Let's get on with it. So I've um, I've decided to start to remove uh, a lot of this wood. So I have sawn probably about an inch there, and then the saw. This is quite fresh wood. Um, the saw has then started to stick. So I'm going to batten that piece off and then repeat with the saw um, again. Uh, so I'm just going to show you battening which is going to move and rock about quite a bit so I need to just turn it up like that I'm going to put my finger there <laughs> you, what, you're laughing and all, you horrible, horrible man right so I reckon I'm going to, I'm going to go about 5mm further into the actual block of wood than the uh, saw mark should be And there she goes. So you see the effectiveness of the stop cut. And repeat until you've got a cup. And I'm not going to try and say that name again because I keep forgetting it and I'm just rubbish. <laughs> cook, sir. Yeah, you say it. You can say it as many times. Just refer back to that little page where it comes up and it says it in between me, falling over it seven times and getting it wrong. I can't go over how much you've taken out of there, that's quite a bit. I'm jealous. I did it my way. Can you whistle? No. I'm supposed know. to say no, not while I'm singing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you keep a secret? Um, I've got a pot pie. So, uh, me and Craig are going to share it. Just need to cut it in two. No, a third for you. <laughs> Before your very eyes, we are going to amaze you by boiling water in a, that's right, a plastic water bottle. Craig thinks he can do it. I'm skeptical. The key to it is making sure that it is totally full as such and making sure that there's no air at the top of this part here. Put the lid on. Okay. He didn't use any sleight of hand, but only scrutiny of the uh, the video will show this. I'll oh, give over. Watch and be amazed. It won't complete. It won't be boiling, but it will be warm enough to. Well, I'm surprised it hasn't set on fire already. Yeah, to be fair. Exactly. I mean, the key is trying to pick the right time to actually take it out. Because if you don't do it right, it just. Right. It just it it does melt and it and it goes. Um, but you can see there. I mean, you, you know, really that in. Your mind, you go, no, that's just going to melt. It isn't. And it isn't. Okay, well, we'll bring you back. Right, bottle of vision. It, it's uh, it's got like a an almost greenish tinge to it. Yeah. The bottle, hasn't it? So it the, has. the out the out the outer part of the bottle is, you know, getting cooked. Um, and we're looking for bubbles, aren't we? 
yeah, that's that's what we're looking for at the minute. But we're not going to get a rolling ball. We're just going to take it out at the bubbling stage. Yeah. So that's going to be what just under 100 degrees, isn't it? Yeah. So 90 to 100. Yeah, I would say so. I'm, I'm, and to be honest with you, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get an idea of how how warm. Because the idea is is to show it as a an experiment, isn't it? Yeah. Really. Right, we'll bring you so back. We've, when we've showed it to kids, we've, we've kind of took it out with a pair of gloves on, poured it out, and you can see the steam, steam coming off, yeah. the, off the water. Right, back low vision, you can see how the shape has changed. And in fact, the, the, even by the neck is. So that's, there you go, that's the, I actually got a splash off that, so you're getting sued. Um, you see the steam here? Yeah. That's, can you see the steam, steam or vision? I, and it can actually fill, fill the bottle. Yeah, sorry that's, uh, I've just put them on. I know more people want to see that than they do with that, but um, it's my channel. Right. Put that cover on. Well, uh, it doesn't matter if you've got stuff going inside it, or on it. Because you can get a good idea of the, the, the heat of the water now. Yeah, yeah, all right. So if you had to, you had to boil it. Absolutely. That's that's the way. So if you want, in if if you let's say that you come to a stream, and you know, okay, streams. Some people will drink water straight from them. No. But you don't know what the contamination is. A exactly. Bit further up. Yeah. So you know, top one of these up, boil it. it yeah. Hey, presto. Yeah, it's better. It's better than yeah. just taking it. Yeah. Obviously, let it cool down. But so there you go. More bubbles, less troubles. Absolutely, sir. So the the piece of willow that um, Craig found for me um, is absolutely ringing wet. You can see the. In the moisture, um, we don't want to let it dry out, so um, that's basically I'm going to be leaving it, uh, you know, on the on the deck somewhere so that the condensation in the morning will, you know, keep it supple. Um, obviously, quite a lot more wood to remove, but that's that's about as far as I'm taking it today. Um, You could use it as a bowl, you know, that, that's not going to leak. Uh, that's as far as I've got with that. No splinters, which is also a bonus. I've not broken any of my, uh, my tools, which is also a bonus. So uh, Craig's whole family has uh, turned up. <coughs> Say hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for having me today. Not a problem mate, Anytime um, you know that. And, uh, yeah, my cooks has come on really well. Quite a lot today. The place is looking brilliant. You've done loads of stuff. Um, and it's getting there, isn't it? Yeah, and where you're gonna take it as well is also really exciting. Um, so I'm pleased for you. And if if I can help in any way, shape, or form, you just have to ask you know. Thank you. Right, um that's it from the rugged wood. Uh, if you've learned anything, well done. And um, I'll be finishing that off in a video or another video to come but i've had a great time and i've learned a lot off this guy again so thank you very much greg you're welcome Bushcraft slash carpentry. Top marks.